Hello everyone, this is Dimitar from the Red Mine App Support. In the version 423 of the Helmdesk plugin, a newly added feature was Google OAuth support. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how actually this feature uh, and this new functionality could be configured onto your Helmdesk and Gmail account accordingly. Okay, so um, the very very first thing that you have to do is to go to the administration on the top of your page and then go to help desk and then to OAuth settings tab that is on to the right, very right uh, here. Now activate OAuth, you should click on it and then apply. So to double check if we have done it correctly, we go again to this tab and see that it is now applied. Okay, so on Google application data, we see that um, there is blank here, but it is going to be changed in the next minutes. Okay. The next thing that you have to do is to go to site that is cloudgoogle.com okay and here please click on cancel here onto the top right corner um, okay now we uh, click on the select project project here onto the left top corner and then new project. Here the name is up to you, however it is uh, now just going to be some testing name, for example redmineapp gmail app. Ok, so uh, yeah, we click on create and wait a couple of seconds okay our new project is just created a red up gmail app okay um, here onto this field please start typing api and now select the enabled APIs and services. Alright, now click on this enable APIs and services. Okay, um, here please type Gmail API. and click on the Gmail API here accordingly. Right now click on the Enable button here and wait a couple of seconds. OK. OK, now uh, please click on Create Credentials and then User Data and then Done. OK. OK, uh, now you have to go to the left sidebar and click on the OAuth Consent screen. Now click on create and then we write again name red mine up gmail up and here for the user support email is going to be the email of your gmail account which in my case 
is my testing email that is Demeter uh, at uh, Demeter point redmine up at gmail.com okay so here it is Demeter dot redmine up at gmail.com okay so we scroll down and on the developer contact information we set some example email developer at um, email dot com Oops. developer email dot com okay save and continue we click and now we click on auto remove scopes here we write down gmail and click enter and afterwards uh, we select this gmail modify we check it and then click on update okay and afterward we save and continue all right now we have to go to add a user here by clicking on it and then enter the same gmail account that we have just entered a couple of minutes ago so in my case it is Demeter dot redmineup at gmail.com just to double check yeah it is correct so we click once and then once again to add it uh, okay so we click save and continue everything seems to be correct for now so we click on back to dashboard okay all right so the next step is to create credentials so we have to click on credentials here and then create credentials here you have to pick up OAuth client ID and here from the drop down menu of the application type uh, you have to select web application because it is the Redmine itself okay for the name here we write Redmine up gmail up credentials um, okay so we return back to our Redmine and go to administration again then help desk and then OAuth settings and copy this redirect URL so we paste the full one here and on the first place here just this for the authorized JavaScript origins this one and for the authorized redirect to your eyes this one okay so we click on create and we are now successfully added our credentials so we see the client ID here and we copy it via this button here so when you just click it is automatically copied okay now we return back and for the application client ID we just paste it paste okay uh, and the same proce procedure is for the client secret so we copy it here and then return back and paste it here onto the client secret value okay so we click on apply everything is now saved okay so we go to our projects and create a new one and name it for example helm desk 
red line up, Gmail will have feature testing. We enable the help desk and contacts modules as they are required for this testing and then go to help desk um, project settings and mail server settings and here into the incoming mail server for the protocol we select the Google OAuth for the username we select the Gmail account that is Demeter dot redmineup at gmail dot com okay so we save the changes and afterward we see that automatically an authorization button is appearing here so we click on it and then select the account that you are configuring which in our case is this one here we click on continue and here we click on continue once again and here is a very important point uh, in my case I'm using the Bitnami Redmine via virtual image and virtual box so that's why there is a big difference with the configuration by default it is uh, set to be local host onto the Redmine settings but the Bitnami Redmine is picking another host name and path so if you are also using the Bitnami Redmine virtual box and virtual image then you have to just click uh, and check via this command hostname i and you will see what is your real IP address and path that is using your Redmine so you replace the local host via this and just click enter and as we can see it is successfully authorized this green sign here means that it is successfully authorized okay so just to say it again if you're using Bitnami Redmine virtual box and everywhere else by default in the Redmine you will see for example if you go to administration settings then hostname and path it is local host it is by default made in this way so when you go also to help desk administration settings for the OAuth you see that local host is by default made but the app the Redmine application itself into Bitnami is using another IP so you could check it easily by this command hostname and I and you just replace it in the authorization and afterward everything will be fine uh, okay and just to say maybe you know but I uh, just to say it in any case uh, this authorization is made only once so this is now already authorized there is no need to do these steps again it is now authorized so you can just get the mails for the future and that's it you're only going to collect your emails either manually or automatically it is up to you and yeah Okay, so let's uh, just test if we have just done our task successfully. So I'm going to other uh, testing email of mine, which is this one, limiter.redmineup at abbbg, and I'm going to write some email to the uh, help desk Gmail account, that is limiter, redmineup. Uh, gmail.com so it is going to be hey let's test if this gmail OAuth message is going to reach the help desk let's see what is going to happen okay so we send and return back to our help desk project and just click on get email 
Okay, we processed two emails and we go to the issues and see that it is successfully received. So we, have, we click on it and we see, hey, let's test if this Gmail OAuth message is going to reach the help desk. Let's see what is going to happen. So yeah, it is successfully received for, received from the meter dot up ABVBG and everything seems to be working fine and correctly. So this video was about the new feature of Gmail and Google OAuth feature that was added to our help desk plugin and the steps in detail how this could be configured. I hope this video was helpful for you and at the end of this uh, tutorial that everything is fine onto your Redmine and help desk but if you have some problems or just you want to share some feedback about the new feature or the video itself or anything else please do not hesitate to contact us at support at redmineapp.com so thank you very much again for watching this video and bye bye for now.